welcome to Maha Regional in Orange tonight. Intercounty League matchup, the Maha Senators, the Frontier Red Hawks. Jeff Terrell, Sean Hubert alongside. We get set for this matchup between a 2-1 Frontier team and a Maha team looking for their first victory in 2018. Yeah, and as you were uh, reading down the billboard there, the Maha Senators actually won the toss and uh, they deferred. So they're going to actually kick the ball here to start the game. They're going to give Frontier a first shot at offense and we're going to stand up right now and get ready for the national anthem. And the Mahar Senators, a good defensive team, but they've struggled offensively. We will be back with the opening kickoff of tonight's game right after this on Fair Country. All right, so the Mahar Senators, Sean, they'll be on defense to begin this game again. They're struggling, though, on the offensive side. They've been shut out twice, so not a bad move here. See if you can shut down Frontier and then get the offense going. Well, not a bad idea, but this is going to be a struggle for the Senators. As you just said, they lost week one to McCann, six to nothing. They lost to Athol, the Red Raiders here last week, 16 to nothing. And uh, the one game they were competitive in, actually, against East Hampton, they ended up losing that 28 to 20. They were up 20 to six. After a Gareppi TD run with about 3.45 to go in the third quarter, but East Hampton with a furious comeback. Uh, put Maher Senators where they are right now at 0-3. But yeah, they're going to kick this ball away and uh, see if they can stop this Red Hawk defense, uh, this Red Hawk offense, and they can run the ball. It is a short kick to the far side left hash mark, taking it back to the center of the field. Across the 30 yard line down to a little bit of a yard line. Yards. Matt Hildreth there. The first and 10 for Frontier. And first and 10 for the line. Frontier Red Hawks. A lot of new guys at the skill positions, especially at running back, but uh, still maybe not quite the production of last year, but pretty, not not too bad at all. Uh, not bad at all. Hey, we were talking about guys like Aaron Landry and Steve Worthley and, uh, and of course uh, Bryce Dovis that came down from Pioneer. So three guys, two of the three ran for 1,000 yards. Workley ended up well over a thousand, a thousand about eleven hundred, and uh, you know, Dovis uh, came a little bit short, about five hundred yards on this season. But three big rushes. They've been pleased those guys. We'll talk about those guys as we move along. There's a flag on the opening play, and it goes to McMillan. McMillan across the 35-yard line. The ball popped loose late, and we'll see if this play will even stand at all. He did bring the ball up to around the 38-yard line or so, but we'll see which way we're going with this one. No indication just yet. They're gonna bring that side judge from the far side of the field. And they're actually gonna call that official's timeout right here. So that first down gain, a pretty nice one. Now McMillan is one of those guys that, you know, he's been a little bit dinged up this year, but uh, He's, uh, he's done a fine job for them. Yeah, no, absolutely. And of course, Garrett DeForest leads the way right now for this, uh, the uh, Red Hawks, 388 yards on the season. Edo McMillan, he missed last week, so just through two games, he's got 185 yards. So yeah, again, the potent running attack, I'm guessing that was gonna be a false start on the uh, Frontier Red Hawks, it was. So yeah, that's gonna be a five yard penalty against them. We'll erase that. It took him a while to come to that conclusion, actually, Sean, but that will uh, erase that nice uh, first down carry by McMillan. Blight, the fullback, he's one of the other guys along with the force to look for. And Hildreth will put it up here and there. Freeman, one of his top receivers, but uh, basically it's frontier football, largely a running attack. Ball now is spotted uh, back inside the 30-yard line, called the 26. First down in 15 from there. And that goes to DeForest over left tackle. He brings it across the original line of scrimmage and up to around the 34 yard line. It'll be second down and long from there. Yeah, second as you just mentioned, he is gonna be the man man, but we will see Ito McMillan again through a couple of games, 185 yards on the ground for him. You mentioned Matt Hildreth and yeah, you know, seven for 15 through his first two games passing last week, 0 for four. So yeah, not a great week throwing the ball last week for, for Matt Hildreth, but again, he's an option quarterback. He should be able to run the ball a little bit here tonight too. On second down and long. And that's going to go for a first down McMillan with a quick burst right up the middle. The flag the came in at the very end of the play. First so on we'll see what that's going to be, but the play itself went up to the 45 yard line. Good for a frontier first down. Yeah, just a couple yards on that first carry for Garrett DeForest, but Edo McMillan with a good carry and certainly enough for the first down. Looks like they're going to move the chain. Yeah, they're not going to measure. It's going to be a first down at about the 44 yard line for the Frontier Red Hawks. And Coach Jim Woodward of the Mahar Senators, veteran coach, 30 year coach, making his return after uh, stepping aside back in 2011. Five Super Bowl trips, three championships. Handoff. 
on the left side. That is DeForest. Garrett brings it up to the 49-yard line. It's a quick gain of about five. It'll be second and five from there. Yeah, I was kind of surprised, actually, to hear that Coach hadn't been here since 2011. They'd gone to the playoffs that season, and uh, he stepped away. And Boy, it didn't seem that long ago, but seven seasons later, uh, again, Coach is back. And uh, if, if nothing else can give you some confidence in learning how to play some football, it's that guy. He's been dedicated his entire life to this game. And if he can piece it together, it's, that's the guy that can do it for sure. Second down and five, Hildreth. Calls the signals, inside give. And let's see who got it that time. Yeah, I thought it was Blight the fullback, but let's see who got up off of the, off the ball. I missed that. It went. Alec Kirkendall on the carry. Gonna be short of the first down. Very, just about a yard shy of the first down. It'll be third down and one. Ball spotted at the 47 yard line. Yeah, gonna give that carry to Kirkendall. So the first okay. carry of the season for him, so. Yeah, Carbon Blake's a fullback. We'll see him six feet to 180 pounds, and he's usually the guy who'll count it when he needs a yard or two. That might be his carry right here. That'll, that'll go to the quarterback keeper. And right at the stick, and looks like with four momentum, they will move the sticks. We'll see. Looks like, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, with that four momentum, definitely a first down. So they'll move the sticks. First and 10 keeper. for Frontier at the Mahar 45 yard line. 8.03 to play here in the opening quarter, and a, a nice kind of workmanlike drive going right now for the Hawks. So far, the Hawks, this is what we saw against Greenfield a couple weeks ago, and they were able to run up and down the field, get their first down, gain a bunch of yards, and we have our first scoreboard update after this play as well. That was a quick one. Coming in motion is McMillan inside, giving the outside to Garrett DeForest, has some room, but a good closing surge by the Senator defense, but the full momentum will bring it down to around the 41 yard line, so, uh, Gained of about three or four right there, second and long. And our friend in Curtis Falls, Doug Brown, is telling us that Curtis Falls returned the opening kick for a touchdown in their uh, home game tonight. So 7 nothing Turner's Falls right off the bat there in Powertown. Many teams in action tonight. Greenfield, Franklin County Tech. Tech put a lick on the wave this exact weekend. A year ago was the start of a three-game losing streak for Greenfield. To see if the wave can get retribution tonight over at the Tech School. On a sweep, it's McMillan. Great serve, Joe, by the Senator, string it up. But McMillan gets around the corner using great foot speed, and he is right near the first down mark at the 35 yard line. I thought he was going to get dropped for a loss, Sean. Yeah, definitely. On a play like that, he tried to swing it all the way here to the inside, near the press box where we are. You can see him cut the corner, and nice job there. I don't think he got the first down. Looks like he's going to be just a little bit shy. We're going to call it third and about a yard, but great effort there by McMillan. A couple carries and 12 yards for him here in the early going. Needs to bring it to the Mahar 35-yard line, so really less than a, less than a yard. I mean, it is it's inches away. Coming in motion again is McMillan, but they're going to go to DeForest Garrett. And he's right near the first down marker. Didn't need to get it very far. It will depend on the spot. And with that spot, yes, it will be another be Red Hawk first down. down. Yeah, a spot there we might have seen another keeper for Hildreth. Instead, they hand it off inside. And DeForest able to plunge over the first down line, get inside the 35 down, about, we'll call it right over the 35 yard line. So another first down for Frontier. 13, carry, uh, 13 yards on four carries for DeForest. A couple carries for Rick Millen and Kirkendall with a carry for four yards on this drive as well. And this time it is McMillan out of the left slot, brings it down to the 30 yard line. Another nice game Six for him. Yeah. Six I beg your pardon. They got another new running back in there. And that uh, was number 19, Josh Somaski, who took that hand off. He uh, replaced McMillan. He was in the same left slot as McMillan was. So Somaski. Gained of about five yards. Boy, they just, they're running everybody out there tonight. We're just going to say, you and I could run out of that formation with those blocks. Yeah, absolutely. That's exactly what the system does. Second down and five. And a double handoff. And DeForest all by himself. Left side, inside the 20, 10, five, touchdown. DeForest takes it. 
30 yards for the score. It is 6-0 Red Hawks. Yeah, a little bit of, little bit of trickery on the inside. The hand off. Okay, the play was going to come back this way. They ended up handing it to DeForest back the other way. And a big hole for him to run through. And again, this line can block extremely well. And DeForest, a big hole. And then he was pretty much untouched for 31 yards into the end zone. So 44 yards, five carries for Garrett DeForest. He's into the end zone. And the Red Hawks take this opening possession. 5.07 to go here in the first quarter. And they're up 6 to nothing. They will line up for a kick. And placement down, Freeman holding. And the kick is on the way, and the kick is good. We'll take a timeout, 5.07 to play here in the opening quarter. And on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, the Children Falls scoreboard, it is Frontier 7, Mahar Nothing. For a playback on, there was actually, as we were in commercial, there was a penalty actually on uh, Frontier. So Matt Hildreth had to kick again. The second kick was just about as true as the first. So it is Frontier 7, Mahar nothing. No John Garapi out there tonight for Mahar. That, for an offensive that's already struggling, that does not help things. No, exactly. I mean, he was the leading ground gainer, 144 yards on the season for the Senator team. And yeah, without him, it's gonna be hard to find that offense. But that opening drive by the Red Hawks was just beautiful. And the kick comes down, that's a free ball. I think Frontier got it. The Senators were very late to get to it. Did the Hawks get it? I think they did. The officials haven't indicated yet. And it looks like the Senators will maintain possession. Frontier was right down there, though. Yeah, that was not beautiful. As beautiful as the Frontier drive was. That kick, and it looks as though, um, well, it looks as though they didn't indicate it, but the Red Hawk offense is out on the field, so it looks as though they did get the football. Okay, well, the officials never, no. never indicated, so it would be helpful if they did, but <laughs> hopefully going forward they would. Boy, I tell you what, Mahar, you know, we, and we saw that in the, the, the Greenfield game last week against Turner's Falls. You can't, when you're the receiving team, you can't be asleep out there. Well, again, and, and when you, have, you come into a game like this where you haven't won a game yet, you're struggling on offense, you can't give these guys a short field like this. They're going to cash in every time. Rolling out to left, first pass attempt. Hildreth going to Freeman in the end zone. Diving catch, did he get it? Hildreth. Touchdown. Hildreth pass to Freeman is good. Beautifully thrown ball and a great diving catch by Freeman. Yeah, again, you know, Matt Hildreth is not going to be called upon to throw the ball very often. Matter of fact, he was 0 for 4 last week. Again, just 7 for 15 through his first two weeks. So not going to throw the ball a lot. 19 times through the first three games. And his first pass attempt was on the money. That was just perfect in the back of the end zone. 19 yards for a touchdown. So again, the big mistake by the Senators. And the Red Hawks cash in immediately. And the kick is up and the kick is once again good. We'll take a timeout here, 4.57 to play here in the first quarter on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield and Shelburne scoreboard. It's now Frontier 14 and Mahar nothing. So touchdowns scored, get this Sean, 10 seconds apart. They scored with 5.07 left in the quarter, they scored with 4.57. And now another free ball down there, picked up by Johnson across the 25 to the 27 Brian yard line. Johnson so now we'll get our first look at this Mahar offense. New quarterback this year, of course, they, they lost a great one to, uh, to graduation. Yeah, I mean, Paul was just great. And you know, we had a couple of brothers that came through this program and they were fun to watch. And that kid was just, he was dynamic. But yeah, right now we're gonna look at a sophomore in Aiden Sevigny. And, Again, without the running back, John Garapi in this game, you're gonna look at Joey Brazell coming out of the backfield, Brian Johnson, maybe a little bit of Lucas Senny as well, but we'll see what they try to do here if they try to run the ball or, or actually put it up with the sophomore quarterback. And the handoff goes to the left side for just a short gain of about a yard or two. Just Joey nothing. Brazell, the handoff for short gain. Yeah, just about a yard. It'll be second down and nine. Yeah, so that was the guy we just talked about, the senior, number 34, Joey Brazell. And he's probably going to carry the load here. We'll give him a yard, but eh, closer to a half a yard on the game there. The Red Hawks came right up to meet him at the line of scrimmage. Second down and nine. Devaney now goes to the shotgun. Three receivers to the near side left. One up top of the right. Long snap count. They give it to Senny. Sonny right up the middle, gets those tough yards across the 30-yard line up to the 31. 
It'll be third down now in about seven the for the Senators. Game. Yeah, so again, we'll have to see now. Senna gets about three on that carry. Joy Brazell had a yard, so we'll call it second and six here. And now would be the time if we see Aiden's having you put the ball up again. Just a sophomore quarterback, not a lot of experience, and they may have to rely on him more and more as the season goes on. Johnson comes to the near side left. And Charlie Barnes on the right side. 70, play action, steps up, throws over the middle, and that is caught right near the first down marker. Nice catch down there by Charlie Barnes. Now he's a returning starter. They want the ball in his hands a lot. Yeah. He's pretty athletic. Yeah, Charlie Barnes is going to be the guy they're going to look for when they throw the ball. And right there with 70 hitting him perfectly, Barnes able to get to the line that he needed to gain. And now it's going to be a first down for the Senators. We have an injured Mahawk Senator down. And we'll check that player here. And I think that may be 70. So we'll take a quick timeout here. We'll be back with more after this here on Bear Country 95.3. Joe Brazil on the carry, gonna be second and eight. Brazil gets the carry again. Looks like third and five. All right, back here in Orange, Jeff Terrell, Sean Hubert. Studio producer is Dave Reno. The quarterback, Savigny, is out with an injury. They are working on him right now on the bench. Actually, he's just kind of uh, taking a little bit breather. Noah Chabot is the new quarterback, number 12. And it's now third down and five for the Senators from their own 45-yard line. Chabot the pitch. Lucas Senni. On left side and moving the pile. Let's see what that Lucas actually Senni was. Yeah, it was Senni. And he moved the pile <laughs> nicely, Sean. First down for Maher at the 49. Yeah, yeah. A frontier. A couple of nice Maher. carries there for Senni. The, the two carries now, nine yards. And that was huge. Again, you got a brand new quarterback in there. And Chabal, which is a sophomore, played a little bit in the preseason, but this is his first game action. And all of a sudden, your quarterback's out, your best running back's out. And, you need somebody to step up right there. Senny with a nice carry, drag people with him all the way past the 50 yard line down to the 49. So first and 10 for the Senators here inside Red Hawk territory at the 49. Again, three games played, two shutouts. We'll see if they can get on the board here and make this a one score game. And the ball popped loose off of that handoff. It looks like Mahar did maintain possession. We'll see who gets up out of the ball. It's, uh, Brazil, Brazil yeah. Gain of about three seven. yards to the Frontier 47. will be second down and seven from there. Minute uh, 28 left to play here in the uh, first quarter. 14 zip Frontier. And similar score at Turner's Falls right now. Turner's Falls, they scored on a kick return in the first play from scrimmage after getting the ball back. They scored again, 14 nothing. Turner's Falls in the early going there in Powertown. Yeah, they're a heavy favorite at home against a uh, rebuilding McCann team. I think everyone expects a victory for Big Blue at home tonight. How about that Greenfield game last week? Handoff goes to Senny, ran into the pile. The ball popped loose. He actually had it close to the first down. They're going to say he was down yep. right at the 40-yard line. He'll be about a yard shy of the first down. Yeah, good break for Senny there. Good run. He was bottled up. And the ball the did hit the ground. Senny. It ended up rolling Play out. The Red back. Hawks covered it up. But you can clearly see the referee pointing Pistol down, down at right at the 40 yard, yard line. So it's going to be third and just a yard here now for the Senators. So pretty legitimate drive going for them right now. Not a lot of yards. Senny three carries 15 yards. Brazil's got three carries for seven. And the quarterback, Zavigny, had one, one, uh, one throw, one reception, six yards. He's out of the game right now, though it's sophomore Noah Shabbat in there right now. And a flag off the snap. Looked like Frontier came right across to see if they were drawn. Yeah, it looks like uh, it looks like it is going to be stepped off against Offside the Senators. It's going to be a five-yarder five back to the 45-yard line. That'll make it third down and six from there, the waning seconds of this first quarter. Yep, just the first penalty against the Mahar Senators. The Red Hawks were flagged once earlier in this quarter, also a five-yard penalty. And 
Looks like the Senators are in no hurry to get this play off. 13 seconds, clock rolling. Let's see if they get this last play off here before the end of the first quarter. Barnes will be split to the far side right. And coming to the near side left is Jacob Tenney. Three seconds left to the quarter. Shotgun formation, snap over the head of the quarterback. Chabot wisely just jumps on it there. And the that the is way the first Chabot. quarter will end here. Don't Not a good quarter for the Bahar Senators. It'll be fourth down and very long. When we come back, time out on the field, end of one here in Orange. And on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield and Shelburne scoreboard, it is Frontier 14, Bahar nothing. <laughs> I have an issue on the far side yeah, of the chain yeah. game. They are not even close. No, they were, they were kind of confused over there, I think, <laughs> for a minute. They, well, they had to change because of the uh, change of the quarter. They flipped the field here. So Mahar will be punting. It's fourth down. They got, they, these guys got to move, and the ball's way over here, and they get up there. Yeah, they, this isn't right at all. They've got it completely <laughs> off. So the Frontier will be getting the ball after the punt. McMillan is standing back at his own 23 yard line to get the kick here. Yeah, there we go, that's right. The ball spotted at the 40, 43 yard line, so. And the first down marker was on the Frontier 34 yard line. So fourth down and a country mile. They kick away from McMillan, actually it rolls towards him, and he picks up the last second, and he gets tackled immediately. A very risky play there, Sean, but he was able to maintain possession, and first down for the Hawks. Yeah, in that case, you're probably better off just letting that thing, it was rolling right at him. I mean, I can see where the temptation is to pick it up, but. The Senators were down there on coverage, and yeah, he wasn't going to go very far. Should have just let that go. Instead, decided to field that ball, and now it's going to be down inside the 15-yard line for the Red Hawks to start this drive. So a nice punt there by the Senators, and now let's see if they can stop this Red Hawk offense. Down 14 to nothing here, just starting the second quarter. Jack Furious joining us. Frontier scored 10 seconds apart in that first quarter. DeForest, 30-yard run, and then after the uh, kickoff was recovered, they scored on their very first play. Handoff goes up to the 20 yard line. Josh Samaski on the carry. And Samaski brings it oh, close to the first town yardage. I mean, we haven't seen a so lot of this kid, two. but making a, a good impression here. I will give him a gain of eight or nine right there. Yeah, so far. Well, Garrett DeForest, we know he's the main man. Five carries, 44 yards. Of course, he has that touchdown run. He don't make no one. Three carries for 12. But yeah, we've seen Kirkendall with a carry, and now Samaski, a couple of carries for 13 yards. So mixing it up there in the backfield a little bit. Going to be a Reasonable second down here for the Red Hawks, second and about two. Yep, timeout called by Mahar. We will keep it here though during the break. There should just be a quick timeout, but all the years we've done these uh, high school football broadcasts, Sean, to have touchdown score. I mean, we've seen touchdowns come in pretty quick succession, but 10 seconds, that might be a record for you and I. Boy, I'll tell you, yeah, a quick turnover <laughs> and a quick strike. And yeah, we've seen it before, but yeah, not too, not too fewer than 10 seconds. That's, uh, that's lightning right there. Second down and two. And off again, Samaski, he's got the first down tripped up up at the 35 yard line. So number 19, Samaski making a early impression here. All the way up to the 35 yard line, another Red Hawk first down. Yeah, another nice rip by him. Again, we had not seen Josh carry the ball here much this season at all. All of a sudden, three carries for 24 yards for this uh, the freshman here. Scott Dredge, the former head coach, acting coach here tonight as uh, Don Gordon's under the weather. He's saying, yeah, let's see what 19 can do. Here comes McMillan now on first down. Well, like a blast back. And yeah, he, his four momentum would give him a game to three or four, but then he got popped about five to seven Short yards the, the other way. Now, let's see where they end up spotting that thing. Give my yard. I think about four or five on the carry. Yeah, we'll give him four. Yeah. yeah. Second down in six. 9.55 to play here in the first half. 14 nothing in favor of Frontier looking to go to three and one on the year. Yeah, so four carries right now for Ito. 16 yards on the ground for him. Again, second leading ground gainer. Just through two games. He missed a game last week. So McMillan 185 yards. It's DeForest that leads the team right now with 388 yards after three games. Second and six, it's Sabaski again, breaking tackle, still wow. going. He got hit behind the line of scrimmage, Sean, but good effort to get the ball up to the 44-yard line, just a yard shy of another first down. Yeah, absolutely, the blocking just was not that great down. on that Marker. one. Sabaski, again, this is the freshman, Very this short. kid. And, he was able to make nothing, uh, something out of nothing. And again, a very manageable third down. I expect maybe the keeper here on third and about half a yard. 
Less than a yard to go. Hildreth steps up. Got Kirkendall right behind him. McMillan in a slot left. He will come in motion. Hildreth the inside give though. It's gonna go for a first down and more. And there goes the first again. Tripped up in the secondary. No, still going. Inside the 20. Down to the 16 yard line. He was nearly trapped, uh, tripped up two times. And a first down in. First down to go in the red zone again. Yeah, and a 37-yard ramble. And as you just said, DeForest got bottled up, but his foot speed was able to get him to the outside. He got tracked down, was able to shake a tackle. 70, 81 yards right now for Garrett DeForest on six carries. He's got the touchdown, a touchdown as well already in this game. Boy, you look at the Senators' defense, and yeah, they played reasonably well this year, but I got to tell you, when you have to deal with guys like DeForest now, and McMillan, and now Sinaski, putting his stamp on it. Inside give, Kirkendall right up the gut. Big fullback is gonna rumble into the end zone for the touchdown. Touchdown, Kirkendall. 17 yards for the score, six more for the Hawks. They lead 20 zip. Yeah, we're hearing all kinds of new names right now. We got Kirkendall, Samaski, and Kirkendall just took that thing right up the middle. There was some contact there. It looked like he should be stopped short, but able to rumble into the end zone. And the Red Hawks are just rolling right now, up 20, 20 to nothing. 8.25 to go here in the first half. And let's see if they go to kick the extra point here. Looks like they will. Yep, Freeman will hold for Hildreth. Matt kicks it, line drive this time, or right between the uprights, it is good. We'll step inside, eight minutes, 25 seconds left to play here in the first half. And on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield and Shelburne scoreboard, it's now Frontier 21. All right, Jeff Terrell, Sean Hubert back here in Orange as we get set for the uh, next kickoff here. You mentioned Turner's Falls at home, a, a heavy favorite against the McCann Hornets, and they're already off to a great start, leading 14 to nothing. Other local teams in action at the Tech School tonight, Greenfield, Franklin County Tech. Now, it's only week four of the season. The loser of that game, though, in terms of uh, postseason, in terms of the league race, they'll be in big trouble, obviously. So well, that's a big game, big and, game over and, there. And again, you know, last week, that was just shocking what we saw. We saw Greenfield against Frontier two weeks ago, and you know they were outgunned, but they certainly hung in there. They made it a game, and they actually had an opportunity at the end to win that thing, and we were pretty impressed with the way that they played, especially in the fourth quarter, but at Turner's Falls, they held their own for about a quarter. That was it, Turner's Falls just ran them over. We were kind of surprised about that, so. Curious to see how that ends up over at Franklin Tech tonight, but I'll tell you what, if Greenfield doesn't block, if they block the way they did last week against Turner's, they're gonna have a hard time against Franklin Tech. Oh yeah, they'll, they'll get beat. They will definitely get beat for sure. So we'll uh, keep an eye on that one, keep an eye on uh, Turner's Falls. Turner's Falls, we've uh, got them coming up in a couple of weeks against yeah, Frontier that's the game. down there. Mm -hmm. And that is gonna be a great match. Uh, usually is, these last few years. Oh, look at that. And it comes right back to Frontier. It's a line drive off of the Mahar Senator and picked up by the Frontier man. You so could, Jacob, uh, it's Jacob Bryant. You, you, could, Bryant. you couldn't have planned that any better. I mean, Frontier, they just wanted to pound that thing down the middle and ended up hitting the, one of the up men. Looked like it got him right off the leg, doinked straight back, so it went to 10 yards and then yep. right back to the Frontier guys. And yep. uh, Jacob Bryant was right there to get it. Yeah, so if there was no uh, no luck for the Senators right now, it's it's bad, you know, it's just right there. That was just a bad break for them. And it is gonna be uh, Frontier football at about the 46 yard line to start this drive. So up 21 and getting all the breaks as well it'll be a long night for the senators so the hawks now will get their offensive unit right back out there again they break the huddle freeman will line up at the uh, tight end on the left side mcmillan in the left slot on the far right side there is deforest they'll go to mcmillan not a lot there bounces to the outside turns the corner and brings it all the way up to the 50 yard line again Mahar's defense, they did what they were supposed to do. That was, that was all McMillan right there. Yeah, it looked as though he was going to get caught in the backfield. Look, there's going to be no, no gain or maybe even a loss of a yard. And all of a sudden, he's plus five. So, Edel McMillan now 21 yards on five carries. And it's going to be a first down or second down, excuse me, second and five here for the Red Hawks. And oh, look at this in Turner's Falls. Doug Brown telling us 21 nothing Turner's Falls well, opening kind of, the second quarter. Kind of parallel situation yeah, here. Very much so. The same score here, one team having their way against the other. Yep. 
And Hildreth. And the handoff, that will go for a first down. We'll see where that ball carry on. Now it's time for Hildreth. Keep that. It's gonna be first down for Frontier. No, that actually uh, was not Hildreth. He did give it to Samaski yep. again. So that'll go for a first down to the Mahar 42 yard line. Wow. First down and 10 from there. The just uh, right now offensively, they're just a machine. There's not too many plays that don't go for several yards here. Oh, and how impressive is this freshman? Samaski, five carries, 37 yards. Hildreth under center. Here comes DeForest. He'll take it left side. Gets a nice block on the edge. Turns the corner inside the 30 yard line. Out of bounds. Down near the 20. Garrett DeForest. Garrett DeForest run. Jumping into the first down for Frontier. Give him 22 on that carry. No DeForest the over 100 yards here already in the second quarter. 103 yards now. Seven carries. He's found the end zone already once for the Red Hawk. Kirkendall's found the end zone. And Hildreth has hit Keenan Kuhlman for a touchdown as well. We're coming back here. though. Oh, play back. That great block on the edge that I referred to, it may, it may have been too good. It looked good, <laughs> I saw too, that. May have been too much jersey there, I uh, think, I'm not sure. I'll tell you, I don't know if that was it. I saw that block, that looked pretty good, but. So right, that'll wave off that 20. great run there by Garrett DeForest, but I gotta tell you something, no Worthley, no Landry, no Dobus, no problem. No, no, no problem just, at all. You just slot in the, the next wave of guys, yeah. run the exact same offense. Yeah. This is the exact offense they've been uh, running for years. Uh, Skrabisky, you know, throw your name in here. Yeah, absolutely, you know, some talented kids, some good athletes, and the system that they run against, they, if they block well, they can run well, and they're doing it again tonight. Back to the 48-yard line, they go to McMillan on first and 20, and Udo McMillan brings it back into Mahar territory, down to the Senator 45-yard line, a gain of seven. McMillan good for It'll seven be yards. Second down. It'll be second down and 13 from there. Now, so up to take the forest back down to 84 yards after that penalty, but still seven carries, 84 yards for him. And again, McMillan with six carries and 28 yards. Samaski, five carries, 37 yards. Kirkendall, a couple carries for 19. And as you said, the uh, Red Hawk machine just keeps rolling on. 6-10 to go here in the first half. They get a 21 to nothing lead. They got the football. They're driving again. They're at the uh, Senators 45. Any second along here, though. Second at about 14. And they come in motion, and it is Garrett DeForest on the left side. Cuts back to the right. Mahar there to meet him, and they bring him down for Garrett a relatively good, short game. Yards. And I say relatively short because they've been getting huge bursts of yardage. That was actually a gain of about five there to the 40, but that will present third down and long. So an opportunity now if the Senators D can hold on the next two plays to have them turn it over on down. Well, and they really need that too. They're down three scores right now. You know, middle of the second quarter. Frontier goes up by 28 here. And boy, that can be lights out already. So yeah, the Senators really need to stop here. Third and long, third and about nine here for the Red Hawks. Back to pass is Hildreth. Throws and just led to force a little bit too far down at the 25 yard line. And that will present down. fourth down and nine. So the first part of the equation worked, and now the centers need to do it one more time. Well, we said Hildreth only threw the ball four times last week. He was 0 for 4 passing tonight, one of two. He hit that 19 yard touchdown pass there in the first quarter. That ball just slightly overthrown. So, yeah, exactly. The Senators have the opportunity at least to stop the Red Hawks here. Again, you can't go down by 28 here in the second quarter. That's going to make it tough in the second half. Get a stop here if they get their own score, make this thing a game. Yeah, yeah. their path to victory was to try to get an early lead and ride the beat from there because they don't have a lot of offensive weaponry. Fourth down, throwing it down there, coming back towards it. Freeman, no incomplete, a battle the way. And they do turn it over on downs, and the Senators will take over first and 10 from just outside their own 40 yard line. Well, absolutely what they needed right there. So Hildreth was one for one passing. He's 0 for two on that drive, those last two. And that wasn't a badly thrown ball. He did throw it into coverage. Kind of a jump so ball and ended up being over. incomplete. So, but again, the Senators the had to have that line down line. by 21 here. Five minutes to play in the quarter in the second half. All right, so now the Senators will see what they can do offensively. Their offense has not been out there hardly yeah. at all in this first Second half. Second possession of the game, yeah. Coming in motion is Johnson, but the inside give. And that is going to go up to the 45 yard line or so. yard game by Joe Brazell. Tackle made there, Joey Brazell, senior fullback in the 34. 
Call it uh, second down and six from there. 4.53 to play here in the first half. 21 nothing in favor of Frontier. Our Greenfield Settings Bank High School Football Halftime Report coming up. We'll do a Patriot preview as they get set for the, yeah, undefeated <laughs> Miami Dolphins at Gillette on Sunday. That's good. They've generally had their way with them, especially at Gillette. Yeah, at home. Lucas Seni, great surge though yeah, by the Red Hawk. They got some good penetration into the backfield. They kept him. Uh, for basically no gain there. Third down and long coming up. Yeah, pretty productive on his first three carries. He had 15 yards. That one get him right back to the line of scrimmage. So yeah, four carries, 15 yards for Lucas Senny. And Joy Bazell's got four carries for 11 yards as well. Not a lot of offense. Again, it was Savigny completing his first pass of the game. It was six yards to Charlie Barnes, but he was injured and we, had, we saw the backup in there. Noah Chabot, he's in the shotgun formation. Rolling back is Senny. Back to pass. Sets up. Heavy rush. Rolling to the right. And he is going to get sacked back at the 31 yard line. Coach Bo is sacked. And so much for that drive. And they'll have to boot it away now. Fourth down in very long. Yeah, you can see the young quarterback there just trying to make something out of nothing. But all, once they, uh, the Red Hawks got him up going in the wrong direction, they were able to bottle him up. He could have tried to throw that out of bounds and save the, the yards. Instead, he took the sack and lost about 12. So, again, just his sophomore seeing some of his first action. Yep, he was well outside the pocket, obviously. McMillan now back to get this punt. They boot it away from him. He lets it roll. Takes a nice Mahar roll. That's a nice boot, a nice roll, all the way down to the 25-yard line. Now, so play, not a great situation where you go three and out, but they needed to get a good punt and they got one. Yeah, and unfortunately they left a lot of time here in the first half. Three minutes and eight seconds for the Red Hawks. And, you know, again, another first down or two, they might be able to run this clock out and go in down 21. But the Red Hawks, they can score from just about anywhere on the field. We've seen that they can, yeah. all season long. And uh, so from the 25 yard line, again, the Senators defense is gonna be tasked with trying to keep them from driving this field in the last three minutes of the half. 3.08 to be exact, here in the half, 21-0 Frontier. Garrett DeForest on a 30-yard touchdown run, Hildreth to Freeman, and then Kirkendall on a 15-yard touchdown run. McMillan, another double handoff. It ends up to Garrett DeForest, brings it for a gain of nine, up to the 34-yard line. It'll be second down and short. Now well, that'll get DeForest back closer to 100. He was over 100 yards after that run, and then the penalty brought that back. But now Garrett DeForest, nine carries, 98 yards for him. And another scoreboard update from our friend Doug Brown at Turner's Falls. McCann did score, so it's 21-6 right now. Turner's Falls, second quarter action there in Powertown. 2.35 to play here in the first half. 21 nothing in favor of Frontier. Inside give, that will go for a first down up to the 40 yard line. We'll see who gets up out of the bottom of the pile. And Kirkendall. Inside runs Kirkendall. Kirkendall with a first first nice gain there. Gain of about uh, six or seven. It'll be first down and 10 from the Frontier 40 yard line. 2.25 to play here in the half. Yeah, nice effort by the sophomore here tonight. First, we've seen him out of the backfield. Just a sophomore out. Kirkendall, number 45, three carries, 26 yards, and he did find the end zone there in the first quarter as well. McMillan in the left slot. We're at the first up top on the right. Kirkendall, the fullback. Matt Hodreth looks over the D, settles in, pitch. Goes over to McMillan, a quick burst of speed, first down and more, off to the races, inside the 40, inside the 30, down to the 24 yard line, you know, McMillan. McMillan on the outside, Another yards. first down and 10 for the Hawks, and they're rolling yet again. Yeah, 36 yards, he had 28 before that carry, 24 carry to one, 54 yards now for Ito. And as you said, just quick. That kid's so quick out of the backfield. And speaking of quick, another score in Turner's Falls. First play from scrimmage again after getting the ball back. 27-6 Turner's Falls right now. Wow. Almost like that game last night a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Back and forth we go. All right, first down and 10. And now they're going to go to Samaski. Samaski with a nice game. Gets it inside the 20-yard line. We'll Bring him down around the 17 yard the line, close to another Red Hawk first down. Very close, we'll see exactly the where the stick down. goes. So we'll give him nine, it'll be second down and one. A minute 25 left here in the half. Yeah, again, quick drive here for the Red Hawks, up 21, minute and a half. They've got all their timeouts remaining, so time not a factor right now for them. And they're going to go. 
on the left side. That will go for a first down to close to the 10 yard line. That's uh, Garrett DeForest there. Garrett DeForest and Garrett first sets him up. Let's see exactly where the ball's going to be placed. Yeah, right just inside the 10. So a first and goal from there for the Very Red Hawks. Yeah, and that run puts line. DeForest over 100 yards now, 103 yards here in the first half for him. And the pitch now goes, ooh, big hit there from the defensive line there. That's going to go for no gain. No yards as that time, the force had nowhere down. to go. That's a rare no gain there, second down and goal. No, and it almost looked like if Hildreth had kept that ball instead of pitching it, he had a lane. He just decided to pitch the ball. And Frontier going no huddle now. And inside carry. And they get into the end zone Frontier. for the touchdown. Samaski, I think. That's that is 19, Samaski. Scoring from, we'll call it nine yards. Joe Samaski on the nine play for about nine yards. Six more for the Hawks. They lead 27 to nothing. So you got a, a touchdown for DeForest on the ground. You got a touchdown for Kirkendall. Now Samaski in the end zone. And Hildreth threw a touchdown earlier in that quarter. So four touchdowns now, 27 nothing with the extra point pending here. 414 to go in the first half. No drift out of the Freeman hole. That oh. kick is up, hit the left oh, upright. Crushed it. And the kick off yeah, the first is no Still moving. <laughs> it's going to be it's moving for a while. We'll take a timeout. 41.4 seconds left here in the first half. And on the conquest of Greenfield, South Deerfield and Shelburne scoreboard, it's now Frontier 27 and Mahar nothing. Greenfield Savings Bank High School Football Halftime Report is coming up all frontier here tonight about the only thing that's gone wrong is that extra point kick that was uh, off the left upright. And that almost went right, it almost bounced in. 27 to nothing and they are spreading it around. Samaski from 10 yards, Kirkendall from 15, Hildreth to Freeman from 29, DeForest from 30 yards out. High end over end kick to the seven yard line. Here comes Johnson, breaks the tackle, breaks another, and then he goes down. Turn, Brian Johnson. Right Here's around the 26-yard line. Well, you're down by 27 points. Do you just uh, run it in the center of the line? Do you take a knee? Do you try to throw downfield? That uh, would be very risky. Again, your backup quarterback's in there, and Chabot, he's not attempted a pass yet. He took the one sack for a minus 12 yards, so. Tough spot here for the Senators. I don't know if you try to press this thing down the field or you just take it in at halftime down 27, but you don't want to make a mistake here, that's for yeah, sure. No, you do not, because Frontier showed that they do not take a lot of time to get into the end zone. Chabot under center. And the handoff goes for nothing. <laughs> nothing. Frontier came blasting Joe through. Joe Rizzo tackled back the line of scrimmage. And for it's going to go for a loss, yeah. And Frontier not using their timeouts here, so they're going to be content with letting Mahar run one more play here. And actually, they may not even get one more play in. 13 seconds left, clock rolling. Mahar might be just as happy to let this thing run out. Xavier Santiago is in on that spot, uh, that stop, rather, for the Red Hawks. Four seconds left. Yeah, they're going to have to rush up. They're not going to get it off. Nope. That'll do it. Halftime here in Orange and on the conquest of Greenfield, South Deerfield and Shelburne scoreboard, Frontier 27, Mahar nothing. The Greenfield Savings Bank High School Football Halftime Report coming up next on Bear Country with 95.3. Welcome to the Greenfield Savings Bank High School Football Halftime Report. We're in Orange tonight, Maha Regional. Oh, yeah. Not a good night for the homestanding Senators as they trail the Frontier Red Hawks at halftime, 27 to nothing. I'm Jeff Terrell, Sean Hubert here with me in the booth. Dave Reno is our studio producer. And uh, I want to say special thanks as well to our engineer, Joshua Smith. We had a little bit of an audio Thank issue you, yeah. at the beginning of the game, but Joshua <laughs> got it squared away. So. 
Many thanks to him. So now we're uh, we're finally locked and loaded, and uh, really tonight the Frontier Red Hawks they were the epitome of locked and loaded. They had not a flawless first half, but pretty darn good. Well, and we knew the Senators weren't going to have a lot of margin for error coming into this one. As we said, they were 0-3. They've been shut out twice already this season, and you know your running backs out, Garrett B, and your quarterback gets hurt. Seven eight. So you got a backup quarterback in there. You don't have a lot coming out of backfield. Brazil, five carries, just 11 yards. We can send him. We see him carry the ball four times for 15 yards, and that's been about it for the offense for the Mahar Senators. And again, trying to stop this frontier offense. I mean, they get people fit. So you've seen it, you know, season in, season out. And uh, just so many, so many weapons getting to force with a touchdown. Kirkendall, some Askey with a touchdown. Helder threw a touchdown. Uh, they can come in so many different ways. And these young guys coming in here now. Kirkendall, just a sophomore. Some Askey, just a freshman. We've not seen a lot of uh, Peter McMillan and Garrett DeForest. Colton Blake doesn't even have a carry in this game. So, you know, again, just uh, the beat rolls on for, for the Red Hawks right now. Looking to go to three and one on the year again. We're projecting a couple of weeks into the future as uh, you know the, fit, the uh, conclusion of tonight's games and uh, the games of next week as well. However, nice job, it's impossible. <laughs> I defy local high school football fans to not look ahead two weeks for that uh, Frontier Turner's Falls matchup in South Deerfield. Really good game last year. Of course, uh, Frontier was on their way to a league championship last year, on their way to a Western Mass title game, which they would lose to Wakanda decisively, but. Um, Turner's Falls gave them a battle over there at the uh, at, over at Boro Fields. This time it'll be in South Deerfield. Yeah, a little bit tougher to play down there in South Deerfield on the road. But uh, yeah, again, the way Turner's Falls looked last week, and that was shocking, really. We've seen Greenfield the week before against these Red Hawks. And, you know, the Red Hawks did kind of run up and down the field on them there for three quarters. Greenfield found a little energy in the fourth quarter and started to figure out the passing game, felt through some really good uh, slants, and they, they scored a couple of touchdowns there, made it close. They actually had the ball with under two minutes to go, Greenfield did. So they had an opportunity to actually come back and win that thing. And uh, so, you know, we, when they were going to the Turners, we hadn't seen Turners yet. We'd only read what we read, and, and we knew that they had some pieces, but boy, the Turners just dominate that line, both sides, offense and defense, and just. Uh, yeah, Greenfield did not look good. And again, tonight for them, that's going to be a tough one at, at, uh, at Franklin Tech. But um, yeah, the Red Hawks, Turner's Falls, they seem to be the cream of the crop right now. That could be the decider in the league right there, that game in two weeks. We'll have that one for you. A week from now, we're going to be in Athol, as we'll have uh, the Mohawk Athol game. Mohawk uh, with a bye week this week. And if there's ever a football program that could, uh, that could use a bye, it would be that one. Uh, they're hanging in there. I mean, they lose their opener and they only finished up with 10 kids on the field their opening loss on opening night over there at uh, franklin county tech but they come back granted not stellar competition but they did pick up a couple of wins pathfinder and smith vocational now they get a bye week and they uh play uh, a game against intercounty league competition in a week yeah and that's going to be again going down to Athol is always difficult uh, of course the red raiders just beat the Maher senators here last week uh, 16 and nothing i think it was i got it right here it was uh yeah, 16 yeah, nothing. 16 they, nothing they, yeah. they blanked them, and um, again, yeah, we're uh, we're all certainly rooting for uh, the Mohawk Warriors. And if you don't, if you're not uh, familiar with the situation, um, you, know, you get 11 kids on the field at, at one time, either on offense or defense. And week one against the uh, Franklin Tech Eagles, they suited up 13 kids, and with two minutes to go, a kid got hurt, and that left them with 10. And normally, you don't finish a game with 10 kids. The referees allowed them to finish that game. Uh, matter of fact, we found out after that game, Joe Gamash actually put 10 kids on the field himself. Uh, which I did not realize until after. So as a show of good sportsmanship there, uh, that's how they finished that game. But yeah, again, we uh, at that point we're like, can they, these guys can you play, can they even finish the season? You know, and uh, so week to week it's going to be a struggle for them, and we'll see how many they can suit up. But yeah, by week get some kids healthy and and hopefully get down there and, and compete with Athol. But yeah, it's not going to be easy. Yeah, be careful at practice. But again, it's uh, in sports. I always say that you know you can you can take precautions, but the time when you're trying not to get hurt. That's when you get hurt. Uh, again, <laughs> you, know, you talk about kids playing football in general. I mean, if you're just not a football player, you don't really want to be out there on the field. Yeah, yeah it's just not going to work. I mean, you've got to want to get that contact. You've got to want to be hit and get hit. And you're going to have that mentality. And if you're out there and uh, you just don't feel that as a, as a football player, then you're probably going to get hurt, too, because you're not going 100% and not getting the game. And uh, But, yeah, so, again, uh, we're, all, we're all rooting for uh, Coach McLeod and, and the entire program there at, at Mohawk, and uh, at least to get through this season. The other game of uh, note here uh, tonight is over at the Tech School in Turner's Falls, Greenfield Tech. Tech with a decisive victory over the Green Wave uh, a year ago this week over at Betts Field. That was the start of a three-game losing streak for Greenfield, which effectively eliminated them from the postseason and certainly from league competition. They ended up finishing up strong. But uh, Franklin County Tech, 
Uh, you know, again, up and down season, just like it was last year. Greenfield, not the season that maybe they were expecting. The loser of that game is in big trouble. In fact, they're, they're, they're probably out. Yeah, done. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No doubt about it. Yeah, that's a must win for both of those teams if they are hoping to uh, make any uh, any kind of a postseason run. And, uh, yeah, once you get those two league losses, that's, that's going to make it tough. Again, we're looking right now at the Intercounty League, and you're looking at Turner's Falls and, and uh, the Frontier Red Hawks, and uh, neither team with a league loss. So, um, you know, one of those teams is going to beat the other. Somebody's going to have at least one. But, yeah, when you're looking at two league losses and then the head-to-head -head stuff, uh, three losses pretty much effectively is going to put you out of that race. All right, 27 to nothing. our score here at halftime. We'll take a break here in our Greenfield City Bank High School Football Halftime Report. Our Patriots preview coming up next after these. All right, we are set for the second half kickoff. Mahar will be receiving. They actually won the opening coin toss. They deferred 27 to nothing Frontier. The Forest from 30 yards. Hildreth to Freeman from 29. Those scores were 10 seconds apart. Frickendell from 15 and Samaski from 10. Here's the kick, comes down to Johnson from his 15. Left hash mark, center of the field, across the 20. Across the 25, yard, up to the 29-yard line. First it looks like he's got some pretty good foot speed there, the young player there for the Mahar Senators. He's had a couple of decent returns tonight, and that one right there, yeah, hard nose, finds the gap, and able to run a guy over, get back almost to the 30-yard line. Nose of the ball right on the 30 for the yeah. Mahar Senators to start this drive. We will call it the 30-yard line. First down and 10. Opening drive of the third quarter, Mahar didn't even sniff the red zone as they were really having a tough time on both sides of the football. Still have the backup quarterback in there, Chabot, as well. Yep, Noah Chabot. He's out of the shotgun formation right now. Long snap count. And the give goes to Lucas Senny on the left side, breaking tackles. Nice run for Senny up to the 40-yard line. We'll see if that's good enough for the first down. It may have been. Well, it looks It'll like maybe just, just a little bit shy. But one of the better runs. I was just going to say, yeah. Yeah, nine yards will give him on that one. So, Senny, five carries for 24 yards. That was the longest run of the night. Joey Brazell, five carries for 16 yards himself. That's been about it. From the Mahar 39-yard line, second down and one for the Senators. They're moving left to right here in the third quarter. Now they'll have three receivers to the near side right. Johnson, Senny are among those out there. Out of the shotgun formation. Chabot, again, a long snap count. And the handoff goes to Roselle. And he's got the first Rizzo down. The out across the 42-yard line. So, again, they are not likely going to win this football game, but we'd love to see them have a nice crisp drive that results in points here. Well, again, that's really what they need. Yeah, if they could run some clock here and... They've, they've run the ball fairly well. They've had a couple of first downs, but not been able to put together an extended drive. And as you said, not been anywhere close to the red zone tonight either. But yeah, well, best case scenario for the Senators, just keep running the ball like that. Same formation, Johnson, Melanson, and Sunny to the near side left. Shotgun formation. Chabot calls out the signals, takes the snap, fakes the handoff, quick swing pass. That's caught by Sunny on the right side. Gets a block near the first down marker. He'll be just a little bit shy. And another nice first down gain. It'll be second and short. Yeah, first uh, yeah, short first pass marker, attempt first by the sophomore down. there, Chabot. And we'll give him a gain. We'll call that about eight yards there. So, again, crispy, crisply run play. Couple blockers out front. Perfectly delivered by Chabot. So yeah, everyone did their job on that play. Eight yards and a pretty easy second down here. Second, we'll call it two. Again, they are going a shotgun here. Chabot takes the snap, hand off to Sunny. First down, and brings it down to the Red Hot 45-yard line. Second consecutive first down, and the centers have something going here. Yeah, legit drive here for Mahar. Again, they went in at halftime. They looked at the scoreboard down 27 to nothing, and then been shut out two out of their three games this season. Ball down to the, we'll call it the 46-yard line now of the set of the uh, Red Hawks. So they're in Red Hawk territory, first and 10. Nine minutes to play here in the third quarter. 27 to nothing in favor of Frontier. Ready. Chabot, okay. out of the gun. Gives to Senny again. Nice yardage up the middle, inside the Frontier 40, down to the Red Hawk, 37-yard line. And again, that's gonna be another game of about nine. Let's see where they end up spotting that thing. 
Going to be another uh, another decent second down here. Yeah, we'll call that nine for Senny. So seven carries. Oh, they did, they did bring him back a little oh, bit. Yep, got a so couple yards there. 30, uh, 35, we'll call it second and about three. Again, out of the shotgun. This has worked very well on this drive. Chabot, quick swing pass. That one is caught by Charlie Barnes on the right side. And he has the first down inside the Frontier 35-yard line. Charlie Barnes. Again, once he has the ball in his hands, he knows what to do with it. Yeah, a couple of catches for him. Chabot actually is coming to this game as just a sophomore. Again, he's the backup. Two for two passing, 13 yards through the air. Seven, he actually had completed the one pass he attempted for six yards. That also went to Charlie Barnes. Another first down here for the Senators. Now they go back to a much more traditional formation. And uh, just as the yeah, that's uh, going against to go the against Senators. the Senators, they draw a flag. Offside the Senators. Procedure oh. call against him five yards back. It'll be first and 15. Well, you know, they had something They're going. They went back to the old offense, and look what happened. Yeah, let's see if they can overcome that. Just a second penalty tonight against the Senators. Two penalties, 10 yards. Exact same for the Red Hawks. Two penalties for 10 yards. So a pretty cleanly played game here. Let's see if that slows down this Senator attack. Right now, this is a pretty good drive going for them. Ball back to the 38-yard line now. First down and 15 from there. Eight minutes to play third quarter. Frontier leading big. 27 to nothing, but the Senators on the march. Chabot out of the gun, gives to Senny. Senny, nothing doing. Frontier with a great surge that time. They drop him for no game. It'll be second down in 15. Yeah, Senny had had a couple of really nice runs here his last couple of carries. Again, he's up to 35 yards on eight carries. That one there, nothing doing. Right back to the line of scrimmage. So with the penalty, it'll be second down and 15 here for the Senators. And they go, now the backs are split behind the quarterback, Chabot, who's now in her center. Chabot, the give. And this time it's Johnson who comes through on the, from the left. Left slot, takes the inside game inside the 35-yard line to the 34. So back to uh, close to the original line of scrimmage. Third down, we'll call it 11. Yeah, first carry of the night for the senior, Brian Johnson. Yeah, we'll call that a gain of four yards there. Not quite back to the original line of scrimmage, so you're right, Jeff, third and 11. They've got to get inside the 25, down to about the 24-yard line of the Red Hawks for the first down here. See if they go up top here on third down, off play action, perhaps. They will roll him to the right. Got a man open down there. It is caught by Barnes for the first down. No, didn't get the first down, a little, bit shy. Down, a little bit shy but a more makeable fourth down coming up as they hooked up with Barnes. Yeah, again, Charlie Barnes is the guy they're gonna go to. He's the junior, where's number four? And again, right now, Senators quarterback's perfect through the air. Chabot, three for three, 19 yards, and he said 70 before he went out. His first pass attempt was good for six yards, also went to Charlie Barnes. Call it fourth down and four. The ball is spotted at the 27 yard line. They need to get to the, to the uh, 23. Somebody's taking a this drive going. Here, yep. There is a timeout on the field. We'll take a quick break here. 6.05 to play third quarter. Car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Children's Scoreboard, Frontier 27, Maha Nuff. From the Frontier 27 yard line, fourth down and four for Maha. They're going to go for it, obviously. Out of the gun, rolling to the left, Chabot. Throwing against his body, lets it fly. Underthrown, incomplete. They turn it over on down, so they had a nice drive going. Try to hook up with Charlie Barnes down there, but the ball was underthrown, and the Hawks get it back. Well, again, that's a tough throw for a right-handed quarterback. They roll him to the left. You can see Barnes was in the right spot. He just couldn't deliver it to him, threw it a little bit low. So, yeah, a nice drive, kind of derailed by the penalty, and then uh, a good defensive play there on that run by Senny. So. A good, a good burst there by the Senators, and they possessed the ball for quite a long time, but not able to find the end zone. They get just down inside the 30, so the ball now is gonna be spotted around the 28-yard line for the Red Hawks to start this drive, up 27. But the Senators had the ball for uh, just about half the third quarter here. On first down, it's Garrett DeForest. Keeps the legs chugging, brings the ball up to the 35-yard line. It's a gain of about uh, six or seven there, second down coming up. Yeah, so the number's starting to pile up here for DeForest, 12 carries now, 110 yards. Of course, he's found the end zone, as says Alec Kirkendall and Josh Szymanski. 
Keenan Freeman caught a touchdown pass from Pat Hildreth. So four different guys finding the end zone so far tonight for the Red Hawks. After the game, we'll have our player of the game on the post game show. It'll be a Red Hawk, but which one? So many guys have played well tonight. And here comes McMillan. He's got the first down and more. A flag comes in from the Mahar secondary right at the very end of the play. Yeah, McMillan brought it to the 45, but this one's going to come back. Yeah, yeah. It's a hold, Sean. You called it. Yeah, you could see it right through the middle. They were trying to block, and then all of a sudden, um, you can see that defender get spun around a little bit. So, yeah, that, uh, we're going to wave off that, and it's going to be a 10 yard penalty against the Red Hawks. So, just the third penalty against Frontier tonight. Three penalties, 20 yards for them. The Mahar Senators have been penalized twice for just 10 yards. That's a big penalty there. It'll bring it all the way back to about the 28-yard line. 5.09 to play, third quarter, 27 to nothing. And, yep, they brought the ball again to the 27-yard line. So. Uh, so, again, the Senators have an opportunity here. It's going to be second and long, second and 10 here for the Red Hawks. They can hold here and force a punt on fourth down get the ball back they had a nice drive just not able to find the end zone and going back to that uh, first half late second quarter they did hold the hawks on downs on that last drive quick hitter up the middle not a lot there for kirkendall he gets dropped down for maybe a game of the yard we'll see yeah they're going to move the stick up just a little bit third down and long coming up so now the senators now they're playing uh, here this third quarter. They're playing some pretty decent football right now, Sean. I was just going to say it looks like a different team. Again, they were able to move the ball. They got some yards, and again, the drive stalled out after the penalty and the loss on a carry, but they're stopping the Red Hawks right now. It's going to be third and about nine yards. So, yeah, one more, uh, one more hold here for them and get the ball back. McMillan is in the left slot. He will come in motion. I think I know this one's going. They're going to roll. Nope, they go back against. And it's DeForest. Garrett did not get the first down. Be fourth down in about two or three from the 35 yard line. Yeah, and you would think this would be a punting situation for the Red Hawks. Yeah, they're up 27. We got three and a half minutes here, three minutes and 40 seconds to go here in the third. And I don't know that you gamble here if you don't make the first down, you give. The Senators a very short field. I'm assuming they're going to punt this ball away. Big lead. And there goes the yeah, deep man's going to drop back for the Senators there. The Tenney, Jacob Tenney. So yeah, they will be punting here. Yeah, this makes sense. With that kind of a lead just later in the game. Yeah. Uh, again, why make a mistake here and turn it over and let the Senators have a short field, kick it deep and try to make another stop. Garrett DeForest is in there at center as a long yeah. snapper. And, nope. Oh, it look at that. And it didn't work. They got, they went over to Samaski, but dropped for a loss back to the 32 yard line. Okay. The Senators, Sean, they were not fooled no, at all. No, and I gotta say, I think you're, uh, you're working a little too hard right there with yeah. that play, right? I mean, again, you got the big lead and you could have just punted that thing away. Your defense has played great tonight. And, Instead, now the Senators get the ball on the 33-yard line, 32-yard line there, the Red Hawks. So, ill-advised play, I believe, there. First down and 10 for the Senators, who had a drive going, but they got two or three first downs before it got bogged down. They turned it over on downs. They'll go back to that shotgun formation. Three receivers to the far side left. Roselle on the right side brings it for a yard or two it'll be second down and long from there good about two yards there to the 30. Or oh, the, second down and eight or that's just a lot of confidence in your defense right there <laughs> thinking yeah. you know if you're going to give the other team that short a field that your defense can keep them out of the end zone a couple yards there on the first carry so second and eight for the senators they really need to take advantage of this right now they really do they do yes then shotgun formation. Quarterback, Noah Chabot, calling the signals. Gives it again to Roselle. Brings it inside the 30, down to the 27-yard line of Frontier. It'll be a makeable third down, third down at about five coming up. Now and again, this will be four down territory for the Senators, so they can pick this up in a couple of chunks, third and about four yards. Well, John, we'll talk more about this in the fourth quarter and maybe on the post-game show, but very young team here 
in Orange, a, a very dinged up team right now, but yep. give Jim Woodward some time to teach these kids how to play football and how to win. They won't be down for very long. You don't get better than that guy, absolutely not. And as you said, with the injuries, Gareppi, and now your quarterback's out. They've been thin, but. Out of the shotgun, play action, heavy rush, throws over the middle, he's got Charlie Barnes, and he's gonna take it in for the touchdown. Good for him. 30, uh, 27 yard touchdown pass. Chabot, who got dumped at the end of the play, delivered it. 27-6. You know, I mean, that was just absolutely beautiful right there. Again, you've got your sophomore quarterback, your backup quarterback in Chabot. He's completed four or five passes right now, and that was just a perfect throw. He held in there, took a hit at the end of the play, hit Charlie Barnes. Barnes wide open, finds the end zone. So the Senators, again, that makes that uh, fourth down play a little bit more, uh, <laughs> exactly. you know, uh, again, I didn't see that. There was no reason for that. And the Senators did take advantage. I don't know if that's going to stem the tide here, but Senators will go for two, try to make it 27-8. Chabot is under center. And he takes the snap. Rolling to the right on play action. Throwing over, and that's tipped around incomplete. And could not make the connection down there. We'll take a one-minute timeout. 1.24 to play, third quarter. Car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne scoreboard. It is now Frontier 27, Mahar 6 on their country by 5.3. Mahar now set to kick off, end over end. McMillan from the 12, right straight up the middle of the field, across the 30, across the 40, to the 43 yard line. First and 10 for the Red Hawks there. They turned it over on downs on their last drive. They turned it over on downs their last drive of the first half. So this offense, which was really the the, the very definition of a juggernaut in the first half, anything but here in the second. Well, and again, I, you know, that fourth down play is going to stick in my craw here for a few minutes yeah. because you know, you're up 27. You just punt that thing away, make Mahar go the, the, the you know, longer field instead. Try the little trickery there, didn't work, and the Senators didn't take them long to get in the end zone from the 30 yard line. On first down, it's Garrett DeForest, and he brings it up near the midfield stripe down to the 48-yard line, 48-49-yard line. Nice quick gain of about six or seven there. Second down coming up. One minute to play here in the third, 27-6 Frontier. And again, what our Senators need right now is another quick stop, a turnover, something, and try to get back in this thing. Again, clock rolling under a minute here to go in the third, 27-6. But it's really been all Mahar here in the third quarter. Second down and four. And it's DeForest again, nothing. He got to, he gained of a yard up to the 50, but then got knocked back from there. Short game by DeForest, on a yard of the well, play. If the Red Hawks ever needed a first down in, in a game that they just dominated the first half, it's right now. I mean, the ball's right on the 50 yard line. They're gonna get down to the 43 for the first down and they may not even get a playoff here to finish this quarter. 20 seconds clock rolling. And yeah, we may not even see a, a snap here. Frontier maybe just uh, switch fields here, 13 seconds, and they're in no hurry. They get Samaski back out there for McMillan. Samaski will come to the slot left, DeForest on the right. Might look for Freeman here. They might do something on play action, I think. Well, it's gonna be a quarterback draw, and that will go for the first down on the last play of the third quarter. Got the ball down to the 46. Yard and that's going to be the end of the third quarter. Over the Mar Senators. End of three here in Orange. On the Park West of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Shelburne Falls scoreboard. Frontier 27, Mar 6. For quarter action next on Bear Country. Fourth quarter underway here in Orange. First and 10, Frontier from the Mahar 45 yard line. Garrett DeForest on a pitch left side, but he's going to get roughed up. And he's going to get brought there down for no down gain. Mullins and Malung goes in on the stop. It'll be second down in 10. Again, you can kind of feel that the momentum of this game has changed just a little bit. The Red Hawks just dominant in the first half, but the Mahar Senators offensively and defensively really dominating here in the third quarter. We still have 10 minutes and 35 seconds to go here in the fourth now. And boy, if they can get another stop, it might make this game a little bit closer. Again, 20 down 27 to nothing, 27-6 now. Second down and 10. 
And the pitch this time goes on the right side to McMillan. He's got the first down, still going inside the 35-yard line, down around the 30-yard line of the Senators. McMillan, then you can hold him down for a while, but then he just always finds a way to break it. Uh, again, awfully quick, just a junior. He's 5'8", 150 pounds, eight carries for him, 69 yards. And of course, Garrett DeForest leading the way right now, just a junior, 15 carries, 124 yards for him. Of course. DeForest has found the end zone, as has Kirkendall and Samaski. Edel McMillan not found the end zone yet tonight. Maybe first and 10 here for the Hawks. And the first down carry will go on the right side for Samaski. Give him a gain of about three, four Massey yards there. Yards. Second down Can coming up, 9.42 to play here in the game. Yeah, so again, a couple of new names for us. Samaski and Kirkendall with carries tonight. Kirkendall, 27 yards on Four carries for him again. He's found the end zone tonight. As says, Maskey has just a freshman. Eight carries and 59 yards. Found the end zone in the first quarter as well. On second down, they're going to go to DeForest on a sweep, and he's got the first down still going. And he brings it inside the 20 down to the 15-yard line. Another first, first down, down for the Hawks. Here. Now they're going Should much as they did the in that first half. And they're not get, trying to be too cute, Sean. Just no no frills, just their standard offense. Yeah, running what they do, the double wing and the inside handoffs and that kind of stuff. And again, when they block that properly, it's tough to stop. The Senators had found a little momentum coming out here in the third quarter, but the Red Hawks now poised. It's gonna be first and 10, but they can get a first down just inside the, inside the five-yard line. It's gonna be first and 10 here, though. Handoff is on the left side, it's on the far side of the field. Can't see who made that. Handoff down there, who? Five yard gain. Oh, that was DeForest. I think it was DeForest, yeah. yeah. it was Garrett, yeah. Give him a gain of about five. It'll be second down and five. Ball now down near the 10 yard line of the setters, trying to get into the, Get in there for the first time since Samaski scored with 41 seconds left in the second quarter. Yeah, again, completely dominant first half for the Red Hawks. Not so much, but again, they're up 27-6, so a score here is going to put this thing away. And the handoff now on the right side, down to the five-yard line, right near the first down marker. And that may have been... Yeah, that was, uh, that was McMillan, number two. Short of the first down, he has it on the six. So it'll be third down and one from the six. Well, you've got, uh, you've got McCann trying to get back in the game against Turner's. They try to double reverse pass deep in Turner's false territory, but they got picked out by Big Blue. 27-6 still there. 27-6. 27-6. The score here. It'll work it over, it'll reverse, and it's gonna go to Hildreth, left side, he's got the first down, and he goes right near the pylon. He got in, late call, very late call by the official. He is in for the touchdown, it's 33 to six. Uh, again, just a, a great night, really, for Matt Hildreth, just one of three passing, but he did throw for a touchdown there, and that was to Freeman, and now he's running to the end zone, four carries, 17 yards, and a rushing touchdown, 33-6 now, and. Yeah, the Red Hawks starting to run away with this one here a little bit. Seven and a half minutes to go in the game. Not going very well for the uh, Athol Red Raiders. More on that in a bit. The kick is on the way. The kick and is the up kick and the is kick good. is good. We'll take a timeout. 7.26 to play here in the football game. 34-6 Frontier on the park west of Greenfield. South Deerfield and Shelburne scoreboard. All right, Frontier now set to kick. Leading now 34 to six with 7.26 to play in this football game. Been a quick game, huh? A lot of running, uh, not oh, a lot yeah. of penalties, not a lot of passes. You're right, passes. I, just, I just was thinking that yeah. it's, it's 8.26 p.m. Yeah. We kicked off at seven. Right Games along. usually last two hours. I think we're gonna come in under that this time around. And bringing it up to the 36 yard line was the deep man for the Senators. That is uh, Jacob Tenney. And it'll be first 10 for Mahar. They scored on their last drive. Uh, again, they're not going to win this football game, but uh, some bright spots, something to build on for the second half. 
And that should be, uh, you know, it was a 16 to nothing Athol victory uh, uh, last weekend. Or they'll play again on Thanksgiving morning. And I would think that would be another good game. Yeah, again, you can see the Senators, it's just, well, again, your, your quarterback goes out in the first quarter and, uh, of course, it's going to help them an awful lot if they can get John Garepi back in the lineup, and he was leading the team. And let's see, we've got a scoreboard, scoreboard update here from our friend Doug Brown in the third quarter at Turner Swells. It is 27-6, Power Town. Back to pass, Chabot flushed over the pocket, takes off on the right side, looks to turn the corner, gets run out of bounds right in front of the, no, Chabot, the Red Hawk outside. bench. Everyone the covered downfield. Yards. Nice heady play there by the sophomore quarterback of the second down. I'm gonna say, I like this kid. I mean, he's completed four out of his five passes. He threw a nice touchdown pass as well. And now he did take a big sack there at the end of the first half, but a nice run there. As you said, a heady run. Able to do a busted play, able to just take it out, get five yards on first down. So a nice second and five here for the Senators. Yeah, sophomore's pretty good. They'll go shotgun now on second down and four. Chibo takes it. Quick handoff, and just shy of the first down, they went to uh, Senny. Senny needed to get to the midfield strike, dropped right at the, uh, check that, to the, need to get to the 45, brought it to the 44, it'll be third down and one. Well, we wondered where they would get the performance out of the backfield from with Garepi out of this game. Joey Brazell, eight carries, 21 yards. Now it's Lucas Senny, nine carries and 39 yards, so not eye-popping, but a couple of guys doing a pretty good job out of the backfield. Brian Johnson has just the one carry for four yards in this one. Third down and one from the Mahar 44. They go shotgun again. They've been very effective out of this formation. Snap goes back. Inside gives Senny. He's got the first down and more into the Frontier Lucas secondary. Senny, brings it more. into Red Hawk territory. Down to the Frontier 43 yard line, first down. Yeah, great run there by Senny. Where's number 44? Looks like a fullback coming out of there with number 44 on his, on his back. And big run there, knocking guys over. 10 carries, 51 yards now for Lucas. Spot him back to the 45 yard line. First down and 10. Again, this offense did virtually nothing. They hardly had the ball actually right. in that first half. But definitely, they've had a fine second half of the game. Out of the shotgun. We give to Senny again. A little hesitation as he waited for the hole to open up. Still going, lurches forward down to the 40 yard line. A quick gain of about five. It'll be second down and five. Well, we saw Greenfield come up here and do this a couple of seasons ago where the onside kicked five times and got the ball back four times and just kept the Senator offense off the field. In the first half, we actually had what ended up being two onside kicks. One that hit the lineman, came right back to the Red Hawks. And of course, then the one that wasn't fielded properly, the Red Hawks were able to jump on down at about the 30-yard line. So, second down and about five yards here. Ball on the Red Hawk 40-yard line. Ball is split far to the wide right. Johnson is on the near side left. He is out there with Charlie Barnes. He's back to pass, throwing down. This guy get picked oh, off. Turn. The receiver had never turned around. Picked up by McMillan, and he brings it back to the 38-yard line. Melanson, the receiver down there, but by the time he turned around, McMillan already had it. Yeah, that's really the first mistake Chabot has made from back there. And again, I'm not even sure I can't put that on the receiver because no, we, don't, we don't know what the pattern yeah. was. Yeah. Where he threw that ball and where his uh, receiver was headed were two different places and an easy pick for the Frontier Red Hawks. So again, the sophomore Chabot done a pretty nice job tonight. That one right there. Again, we're not even sure that may not have been on him. That could have been his receiver cut the wrong way. It kind of looks like that's what that was. So with 5-0-1 left to play now in the football game, it remains 34-6 and now Frontier gets the ball back just inside their own 40 yard line. It is Garrett DeForest on first down. Big gain on left side, he may be gone. Inside the 40, 30, 20, 10. Good night, touchdown. 62-yard touchdown. touchdown run. It is 40 to six. Yeah, and that's gonna put him, let's see, three carry to one, uh, nine, uh, five, nine, yeah, 203 yards now for Garrett DeForest. 14 carries, his second touchdown of the night. And again, just like lightning right there, you know, 19 carries, 100, 200 yards, a couple of touchdowns, and just as quickly as that, the Red Hawks have reasserted themselves here in the fourth quarter, 40 to six now, 4.49 to play in the game, and they're gonna set up to kick the extra point here. Freeman will hold for Matty Hildreth. 
Placement down, the kick's on the way, the kick is good. 4.49 to play in the football game on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield and Children's scoreboard. It is now Frontier 41, Mahar 6. Johnson from the 10. On the kickoff, Johnson from the 10, takes it on the right side, across the 30 to the 31, 32 yard line. First down and 10 now for the centers. So it was 27 nothing Frontier at halftime. Third quarter dominated by the Senators. They got back to within 27-6, got the ball back again. But then Frontier comes back, scores, interception. First play from scrimmage, touchdown, and we're back to blowout mode here. Yeah, now it's 41-6 with just under five minutes to play. So again, the Senators here just hoping to take a long drive, get themselves down in the end zone, eat up a lot of this clock. Don't give the ball back to the Red Hawks again. Handoff will now go to Johnson out of misdirection. Nice gain for him. Brought it up to the 35-yard line. So it's a quick gain of about three there. Second down in seven with four and a half to play. Again, our post-game show is coming up. Then we'll send it back to our Greenfield studios. We have the Patriots and Dolphins from Gillette on Sunday, starting at 10 a.m. pregame, 1 o'clock kick. Athol hosting Mohawk next Friday night here on Bear. And then two weeks from tonight, Frontier hosting Turner's Falls. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Seems like they, they seems like the matchup between those two schools is always a big showdown game. It really does, especially in the last three or four years here. Usually they're two of the teams eyeing for the title. Second down and six out of the shotgun. Takes the handoff, rolling to the right, sets up heavy rush. He goes down, let it go late. He was out of the pocket. There was no receiver Incomplete in the air. Oh, flag comes down. Yeah, that might be grounding, a, but. Again, it's a heady play. We saw him earlier where he took that, that big sack where we thought he could have dumped it out of bounds. Now let's see if they're gonna call that grounding. It was no, nowhere near a receiver. Yeah, there was no, there was alignment in the area, but I thought he got outside. Yeah, but they're gonna say no, it looks like, and we'll see uh, as they march this off. Yeah, it will yeah. be again. But, but again, you know, the first time he got pressured like that, he ended up taking a big sack, lost about 12, 13 yards, and he learned from that and realized, okay, grounding. he was gonna get popped and instead of Taking the big sack, he tried to throw it out of bounds, but we haven't seen an indication, but it was against the Senators. I'm guessing that that is what it was, was intentional grounding. Yeah, that was like, last week we saw the damnedest grounding call against Brady. Oh, we're gonna pick was, that up. Yeah. Yeah, all right. That's, that, and that's, that, that's the proper call. Yeah, he was outside the tackle, he, he, he yeah, was outside exactly. the line. Yeah, absolutely. But so, did uh, you see last week against the Lions, Brady just let it fly as far down the field yeah. as he could. He threw it 30 right, yards beyond third, anybody six, else, six, and, they, and they whistled it for, for grounding. Yep, absolutely. Well, they can, when you can see it's just that obvious, they're yeah. gonna throw the flag. <laughs> I mean, that's the case there. That was kind of obvious, but he was outside the lines, and uh, they're gonna pick up that flag. So no penalty against the sophomore quarterback for grounding on that one. So it'll be third down now, third down and six. Out of the gun. Fakes it to Barnes, rolling to the left. They're closing late, lets it fly to Johnson. Great catch, That's no a great it. Oh, wow. They're gonna say he didn't hold it long enough. That would have been a tremendous catch right in front of us. And again, it's tough when you roll your right-handed quarterback to the left side, but he was able to come back around, get through the ball. He threw a nice ball, he's actually kind of hot. And the receiver looked like he was gonna come up with it, got, came to the ground and Boy, I'll tell you, if there was a review process, I'd be throwing that red flag right now, but they're gonna say incomplete. Well thrown ball, it was caught, and then the receiver just hit the ground, ball popped out, so fourth down now for the Senators. Fourth and about seven yards, 3.40 to go here, so. Yeah, they'll go. They might go, they just, why not? All righty, so they will set up out of the uh, shotgun formation. Johnson and Charlie Barnes to the near side left. They try to get back into alignment. Johnson now will come in motion into the backfield. Back to block, back to pass. Chabot takes off, breaks a tackle, has the first down, switches arms to midfield, gets another block inside the 40, cuts back Boy, to Russia. Look at this kid, huh? And finally brought down at the 36 yard line. This young man has had a fine night in a lopsided loss. That's a 30 yard run right there for Chabot. Nice job there. So. Boy, put him in the positives. Three carries, 25 yards. He's completed four or seven passes. He did throw that one interception, but the touchdown pass. Yeah, I like this kid. Noah Chabot. 
Just a sophomore, was number 12. Came in early in this game after the starting quarterback seven. He went out early. Yeah, you can see he's the confidence now is starting to grow, which is what you love to see. Rolling now to the right, setting up. Everybody covered downfield, finally throws. Oh, that should have been caught. Yep, dropped by Barnes on the right flat. It'll be second down and 10. Clock is out with 3.03 to play. But you can see, I mean, it's it's hard. We're several yards away, but just the body language of that young man. When you see young players start to have some success, you, not cocky, but you can see they're like, all right, I know what I'm doing wow, out here. I, he can, I can do this. Right off the bat, he looked pretty good. He completed his first three passes and had a decent run. Again, he took that sack there at the end of the first half, but uh, not too many mistakes by the young man and a great run there for him. See if the Senators can punch one more in here. 303 to go, down 41-6. They go to the shotgun. Everybody stacked to the left side. Back to pass, throws. That is caught. And that's going to be taken inside the 30-yard line down to the 29-yard line. That uh, reception made there by Joey Brozel. Brozel. We'll call it third down and four. They need to get the ball down to the 26-yard line. Yeah, so just over 50 yards passing for Chabot in this one. Again, five of 10 now through the air. Nice job by him. Chabot takes the snap. Play action rolling to the right. Stops, throws back across the grain, and it's caught for a first down. Oh, and you know what? Chabot got dumped at the end of that play. That's going to be 15 yards tacked in. Yep. Back down, yeah. So he delivered the ball, took the hit, got it down to Johnson for the first down. They're going to add on the yardage. That's going to bring it well inside the red zone here. We'll see where they spot him down. Yeah, four penalties now, four, uh, 35 yards against the Red Hawks. And I'll tell you, in a closer game, that's a huge mistake right there. And a nice job again by the sophomore hanging in there. And he got dumped after delivering the ball. He threw a strike for the first down and the attack on the 15 yards right there. So the Senators are going to make a little noise here at the end of the game. So good job by them. You, again, you can see the energy right now. A little bit better from the Senators here in the second half. All the way down to the 10 yard line. So a chance now to get their second score of the game here with only 2.24 to play here in the fourth quarter. So again, it's it's finding some small victories within a lopsided loss. They've had a couple of really fine drives here in the second half. They'll go shotgun again, Chabot. Calls the signals, hands to Lucas Senni on the left side, inside yeah, the 10, kick. inside the five, Senni into the end zone, touchdown. 10 yard touchdown run by Senni. It is 41 to 12. I'll tell you, I'm, uh, I'd like to see the Senators next week. You know what I mean? If they can take this momentum with that sophomore quarterback, and boy, I'll tell you what, if you get your starting back back in, in Gareppi, these guys could make some noise here in the second half. Again, they're 0-3. They're going to lose this one, but they've got to feel good about what they've done here in the second half. They will go for two. Yeah, I don't know. I was talking with uh, Jim Woodward. I said, when does Garrapi come back? He said, we're not sure. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully soon. They could use them, yeah. They could definitely use them. Now under center is Chabot. He will roll to the right. Rolling out, holding, holding, flips it towards the goal line. It is incomplete. Take a timeout, 2.17 to play now. And on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, they show the scoreboard. It is now Frontier 41, Mahar 12. The short kick by Mahar is jumped out by Frontier at the 32-yard line. So they didn't really go for a true onside kick. And Frontier now will have it with only 2.17 to play. We'll have our player of the game revealed on the post-game show. I know where I'm going to go. I'm not sure where you're going to yeah, go. I'll but. tell you, there's a, there will be a couple of choices, but I think uh, we're probably on the same page right now. We will talk about that in just mere moments, 41 to 12 in favor of Frontier, but again, even though Mahar is going to go to 0-4 on the year, we we're talking about a team that's going into tonight had played three games and had been shut out twice. And it's good that they have been able to get something done here. On first down, they're getting in some of the younger players now. 
That pitch went very high, but it was pulled down by the frontier runner. We're getting a new guy, Padovina. Marcelo Padovina on the carry. I know him from basketball. He's a senior running back. His first carry of the night goes uh, the for Every no game. So second down and 10. Pretty soon they'll be taking a knee here. Looked like he was going up for a rebound there. That pitch <laughs> yeah. was awful high. Really high. Yeah, he was able yeah. to get up and get that. So nice job there. And they uh, might just go into victory formation right now. I don't know if Coach Woodward would use his timeouts here or not. They're going to run a play anyway. And uh, yeah, got some new guys out there. Ben Lozani. He's a freshman running back, number 27. He took it that last time. Give him about two yards there. The third down now, clock Short continues to go, 123. So yeah, they couldn't take a knee just yet, but they have their JV guys out there. Yeah, and they're obviously uh, Mahar not gonna use their timeouts to try to stop the clock to get the ball back. So they'll try to stop this third down play here. And if they can stop this play, the Red Hawks may have to punt the ball away, but there will not be a lot of time left for the Senators. Good effort here in the third quarter, though, particularly in the second half of the third quarter of the Senators. Sam Schreiber is uh, actually the uh, backup quarterback. He's out there right now, number 30. And here comes the uh, game out to around. Padovina on the carry. That's Padovina again. Short of the, the first yards. arm, be fourth down at about three, three or four. Yeah, so they'll be able to run this clock right down to about 10 seconds or yep. so. And uh, they will have to punt the ball away unless they choose to run a play here. But either way, the Mahar Senators not going to use their timeouts. Down 41-12. And the Red Hawks going to take their time here. Again, this will run right down. They may just call a timeout before the clock runs out. Let's see here, 14 seconds to play in the game. Let's see if they run the play or take yeah, the they're, penalty. They're down to the last few ticks. Yep. Nope. They're going to run the last play here. So this will do it. And they pitch it, and it will go for a loss. 1.5 seconds Arizona left, so Mahar can go. Yeah, Frontier Senator kids are ready to start over. shaking hands. Not quite yet, unless the officials say we're done. But no, I, I give Mahar one more play here. Yeah, absolutely, a second and a half left on the clock. And I want to see this Chabot win <laughs> the end zone. <laughs> why not? You know, <laughs> you know why not? Lots to build on in the <laughs> second half there for the Senators. They've got to feel good, even in a lopsided loss. Yep. Um, good things they did in the second half. First half, just a uh, little uh, frontier came out too hot for them. And yep. Well, Sean, we'll talk about this on the postgame show, but sometimes when it's 27 to nothing at halftime, it ends up being about 58 nothing good. for the final, and that's not what happened here. Nope. Frontier uh, had a little bit of trouble at times with this uh, Mahar Center team. All right, so from the 35 yard line, Back to pass, he's gonna throw towards the end zone, looking for Charlie Got Bartlett. It. He got he it, got he's it. in there. <laughs> oh, nice throw, kid, nice job. Charlie Bartlett. Nice job. From 35 yards out on the tip, and touchdown Mahar to make it 41-18. They'll go for two, and then we'll be done. Now that'll put Charlie Barnes <laughs> up close to 100 yards, receiving a pair of touchdowns for him, and again, this Shabbat kid, I like him a lot. He, again, the way he just set and delivered that ball, one point he stood back and took a big hit. Cost the Red Hawks a penalty. And, uh, I think they're going to call ball game. They may not make them uh, yeah, go for the points here. Gonna, yeah. That'll be your yeah, final, I believe. That'll be the final. 41 18 in favor of Frontier. Red Hawks go to 3 and 1 on the year. Mahar falls to 0 oh 4. They take a timeout. We'll wrap things up from Orange after these on Bear Country 95.3. All right, post game show here in Orange, Bear Country 95.3. Frontier goes to three and one with a 41-18 victory over the Mahar Senators. All Frontier in the first half, 27 nothing intermission shot, but Mahar looking really good with their backup quarterback, their sophomore quarterback, Noah Chabot. They gave him, uh, they gave off Frontier some problems in the second half, but uh, Frontier just too much of a margin, too much of a cushion they gave themselves in that first half. Yeah, and then that big run by Garrett DeForest there, that was gonna be the one that put it away. But yeah, you gotta really like what the Senators did in the second half. They came out with a little bit more intensity, and uh, yeah, I was extremely impressed with the sophomore Chabot. Uh, he's gonna end up about uh, 7-12 passing, uh, about 60 yards, but the touchdown pass, and darn Charlie Barnes uh, with those receptions as well.
again, it was going to be tough. We got Grappy in here. They weren't sure who's going to run it on the back. So Purcell ended up with eight carries for 21 yards. Lucas Sani ended up with a dozen carries, 66 yards. He found the end zone. A lot of positives in the second half for the Senators in a lopsided loss. Uh, again, they did outscore the, the Red Hawks in the second half. And they had some opportunities as well. So you got to feel good about it, even though it looks like a loss. You know, 41-18 doesn't look great. But Senators played really well in the third quarter and into the fourth as well. So many different guys touching that football the backfield for the Frontier Red Hawks. Uh, Garrett DeForest, uh, most prominent among them. Yeah, again, I was really impressed with the young guys. Alec Kirkendall there in the first half. Just a sophomore, four carries, 27 yards. He found the end zone. Samansky, just a freshman. He had ended up with eight carries for almost 60 yards. He found the end zone as well. But, yeah, when you really look at the numbers, Matt Hildreth, one of three passing, 19 yards that was a touchdown throw uh to Keenan Freerman but uh yeah Garrett DeForest again getting it done 19 carries just about 200 yards a couple of touchdowns for him and you know he just sets the tone for this Red Hawk running game player of the game for the Frontier Red Hawks Garrett DeForest congratulations to him Frontier wins it 41 to 18 next Friday night we're going to head back uh to the North Carolina region once again this time over to Athol High School for Mohawk and Athol. yeah and again Mohawk struggling along here with the bodies but they had the week off so hopefully they'll have some a healthy team moving down there and uh, to see the Red Raiders and half all. You know, again, uh, they beat this Mahar Senator team just by 16 points, 16 to nothing. And, uh, you know, so that's not a lot of offensive firepower. Mohawk, we know, can hold their own a little bit. They won a couple of games here in a row in the Tri-County. Now they're going to move the Inter-County League, play half all. It's going to be a tougher game. It's on the road. But uh, don't, count the, don't count the Warriors out quite yet. We'll be on the air at 6.45 pregame, 7 o'clock kickoff, live from Athol High School. Final score for the final time tonight here in Orange on the car quest of Greenfield, South Deerfield, and Sheldon scoreboard. It is the Frontier Red Hawks 41 and the Maha Senators 18. For Sean Hubert and for Dave Reno, I'm Jeff Terrell. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Have a great night in Bear Country, everybody.